live from Utah's first TV station, ABC4 News celebrates 75 years. Hello, thanks for joining us here for ABC4 News at 4. I'm Sarah Murphy. Courtney and Emily have the day off. We begin this afternoon with the Davis County School Board's decision to put the Bible back on school shelves. Now the reversal is receiving some mixed reactions. Some say the book should remain banned, while others think it belongs in schools. ABC4's Annika Johns joins us live from Davis County after speaking to a parent in the district about her concerns. Annika. After I spoke to that one parent, she told me that she believes a majority of the confusion lies between the difference between the state's law and the district's policy. After multiple appeals and outcries, the Bible will return to Davis School District libraries. The school board overruled the initial decision yesterday by a unanimous vote. But that decision has also proven controversial, sparking online argument debate again. The president of the Utah Parents United, a group that's advocated for the book's return, says that there is confusion about the state's law and the school district's policy. In 2022, the Utah State Legislature passed a law that said that if there is pornographic material that would be considered pornographic on the street, that that material cannot exist in school libraries. So at the Utah State Legislature's direction, each school district was to come up with a policy for curating their books in their libraries. She continued saying that the initial complaint about the Bible being considered pornographic material was overruled by the district, but they later said that the contents in the Bible are not appropriate for school children. Because under the law, Davis School District said, no, this is not pornographic material, but according to our policy, we're going we're gonna to say it's not age appropriate according to community standards. However, those online are fighting back against the district's decision, saying that the Bible is not only inappropriate for children, but that it is pornographic. One comment online says that there is a huge amount of violence and some vulgarity in the Bible. Another says that not everyone is religious and questions why those who are fighting the ban think it's okay to have books like these in public school libraries. A few other comments online have brought up the Book of Mormon and whether or not that will also be banned if the Bible is banned. Nothing has been confirmed by any means, but that has been circulating along comments when it comes to talking about religious books in school libraries. Reporting live from Davis County, Annika Johns, ABC4 News.